Well, hello there. Yobo. Day 87 of life according to Yobo. Hey there. Find these messages on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Another day of developing the potential of you. Yesterday we talked about a seed in this apple. This seed has potential, but nothing happens until this seed comes out of the apple, planted in the ground. It's going to take work. It's going to take time before you get yourself a harvest. Let me tell you all something. Somebody posted a message on Facebook. It said, God has a blessing, uh, b prosperity coming to your house. If you believe it, type amen. 40.1 million people type amen. 40 million comma, 104 comma, and then some more numbers. 40 million people typed amen to that kind of foolishness. What do the book say right here? Look, look what it says. Mess, stress, and other people's BS. That's some straight up BS right there. Honey, ain't nothing coming to your house but some bills. That's the only thing. And the police, if you got a warrant. Nothing is coming to your house, but yet 40.1 million people type amen. 40.1 million, not going to watch this video because what I'm telling you, this takes time and it takes work. Can I get an amen? See, it's real easy to type amen. That doesn't take no work. It doesn't take no time. Developing the potential, taking the seed out of this here apple, putting it in the ground, getting yourself an orchard. It's going to take just a little bit of work, but it's going to take more time than anything else. All right. Potential, potential, potential. So my husband finally earned his bachelor's degree at age 49. He went back, he earned a master's degree in nonprofit management, and then he earned another master's degree in accounting. So here he is at age 60, a couple years away from retirement, but just because you age 60 don't mean you can't keep working. Got to keep moving on. There's more things for him to do. Just because you reach one goal, you got to go on and reach the next goal. I'm at day 87 on these messages. Once I finish day 87, I got to do day 88. The message said at my youth conference, the ABCs of life, we use a simple motto. Write this down. A plus B plus C plus D equals EF. Like an A, B, C, D, E, F. A plus B plus C plus D. Add all those four. Add A, B, C, D. You're going to get EF. Your actions behaviors, choices, and decisions have an effect on your future. A for action, B for behavior, C for choices, D for decisions equals what? EF. The things you do affect your future. Now, I'll tell you a secret between us. This is another lesson I learned the hard way. Come here, come close, come here, come here, lean forward. The things you don't do also affect your future. I learned that one real hard. Ooh. The things you do affect your future. Put this seed in the ground. The things you don't do affect your future. Leave the seed right here. I do as I do and I make my smoothie. Throw it in the trash. Either way, your future is going to be affected by what you do or by what you don't do. Your use or your non-use of your potential will always have an effect on your future. Your use, your non-use will have an effect on your future. You know what happens when people use their potential? You can always tell when you're using your potential. I told y'all I don't like the word haters, but I think in the last couple weeks, I've had to add it to my vocabulary. I tell you, the crazy woman contacted one of my friends telling her all oh, kind of mess about me. I swear on my dead mama's grave, I don't know that woman. I have seen the woman three or four times, and the person she was talking to, every time I've seen the woman, we were together. I told her, hey, 
We saw we met her at such and such place. Remember, we were sitting at the table together. She came over. She sat with us. But the woman was telling my business partner, you've always been so nice to me. But Yobo, oh, no, no, no. And she went on talking trash about me. All I had to do was say, I must be doing something. Because let me. those of you that claim you got haters, if you don't want haters, just go to work every day, get you a job at Burger King, open up the restaurant at 6 a.m., get off 2 o'clock, come home, watch Judge Mathis, watch Judge Judy, watch Divorce Court. You will never have anybody talking about you. But those of us who's doing something, you can always tell when you're using your potential because somebody going to put your name in their mouth. In their mouth. So when people are talking about you, that's a good thing. Hey, your non-use of your potential, that's your problem. Don't get mad because somebody else is using their potential. You better get busy yourself. You got the same seed inside of you. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Potential can be a curse if not used properly. This is a quote from a young man named Jorge Becerro. He works with me in our ABCs of Life Youth Conference. Let me tell you a little bit about Jorge. He spent 20 years in and out of jail, but all his life, people told him, you've got so much potential. All his life, people told him, even in jail, people would say to him, what are you doing here? Man, you got so much potential. He was smart, he had leadership abilities, and everybody wanted to be like him. But unfortunately, all of his followers were gang members. He was first arrested at age 14. He was in his 30s when he decided he wanted to use his potential in a positive way. Now keep in mind, all along the man had potential. He was just using it in a negative way. While in jail, he began to read. He began to increase his vocabulary. Came out of jail, earned a GED, earned an Associate of Arts degree, and he's currently pursuing his Bachelor of Arts degree. He's almost at, the man might have it as of right now. So whereas he once sold and used drugs, he's now a state certified drug and alcohol counselor. And he mentors at-risk youth with me, with the ABCs of Life Youth Conference. Potential, it's never too late to use your potential. Well, time for me to get on up out of here. Let's put the Clark sisters on. Cause I'm at seven minutes, 41 seconds. I wanna talk too much. Sometimes I watch these videos. I say, dang, it's over already. Stay right there. Potential can be a curse if you don't use it properly. Come back tomorrow for day 88. See ya.